All right, I wanted to have a little talk here about parts and new trucks, the planned obsolescence that goes into them, and the fact that we're outsourcing every single part that's being made to China or other countries where we used to make them domestically here in North America. Now, these new fancy turn signals, let's just use turn signals for an example. The one on a new Kenworth, about 350, 400 bucks for a turn signal. It's got all the fancy switches on it. The one on these old trucks, you can still buy them. They're made right here in North America. You can buy it for $70 compared to $350. Let's take this old girl for example. Here. This turn signal made right here in North America. Here you go. That's a turn signal. This turn signal on this truck, 70 bucks, and it's the exact same as every other truck made back in the day. Old Blue, the 1969. Exact same turn signal as the 1962. This C500 Kenworth, made in 1981, 20 years later, still has the exact same turn signal. And it wasn't just Kenworth. This Western Star was made in 1982 or 1984. Oh, frozen. But that's the exact same turn signal. See, there was a commonality of parts back in the day. A turn signal that worked on a Kenworth from the 1960s still works on a Western Star from the 80s. So why is it that rather than making all these turn signals, they all say made in the USA. Why was it that instead of making all these turn signals in North America that cost 60, 70 bucks a piece, that we now ship it out to China and it costs 350, 400 a piece. That makes no sense. Plus, as everyone knows right now, as soon as our supply chain went down, we're screwed. There's people waiting weeks and months and months for parts. If you want a new logging truck, you got to wait about a year now. They can't even find the microprocessors to build the trucks. There are thousands of trucks sitting without the parts to build it because we let our supply chain go. For what advantage? It's gotten more expensive and we've been harder to get the parts and you can't keep a truck on a road because you need a specialty part that's molded into that dash. It doesn't make any sense to me anymore the way we do things. Also got to remember, these turn signals here are really simple. You want to fix it, two screws, you can re-solder the connections. And it's just connected with some buck connectors and some wires going to a simple flash or relay under the dash. Honestly, you could repair these turn signals yourself. You didn't always have to buy a new one either. It, they just worked and they're simple.